Welcome back to JSA TV Live, where we are coming to you from the show floor of Yada. We're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders across the digital infrastructure industry. And joining me now, we've got a return JSA TV star. We've got Ryan Bauman with Relco. Thank you so much for stopping by. Perfect. Thank you, Keely. Good to see you again. Always love talking to you guys. Relco has so much going on in the, the backup power space. So let's dive right in and get into it. We've been talking a lot about AI these past couple of days here right. at Yada, right? It's no, no yeah. secret. It's yeah. kind of taking over our world. Um, but as AI accelerates and data centers demand more energy than ever, how are you seeing the role of backup power generators evolve to keep up with this demand? Yeah, yeah, excellent question. Again, it's really putting a different strain on the environment for sure. I mean, what what diesel generators used to be do, used for is typically is emergency standby. And we're seeing that, that resiliency change into a more robust solution for the data center sites. Um, so again, here at Relco, what we try to work through is from the early stage of design, right, and what we can do with it, and then how can we take that same emergency standby generator set and use it to um, be more than just a backup power system, right? So we want to leverage that, that product for um, prime applications in some instances today, in bridging power that we use out there in the state, the state of the affairs anyways, of what's happening with the utility grid out there. So I think that's the biggest piece of, you know, how we can leverage natural gas, best solutions, diesel emergency generator systems for the backup, but then how do we do that across the board from start to finish? Yeah, uh, and it, yeah. it's it's everything. It's the whole ecosystem suite of solutions. Yeah, exactly right. And again, it's not just one piece that's going to satisfy the customer's needs today. It really is that suite that we have out there. And again, working early stage from design through construction and then through operation is what we can offer at Relco through Relco's power systems group and through the Clark Energy team that we have. Yeah. Well, we talk a lot about sustainability. You know, there's a lot of operators out there, data center operators who are under a lot of pressure to meet demand, but also meet some sustainability goals and reduce carbon footprints. I think that Relco does a really great job of incorporating some of those into that whole suite of offerings. So yeah. can you just talk about some of those things that you offer and just why that is so important? I mean, we still have the diesel piece, but there are other options for people who are looking for that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Great question. And again, sustainability is, is key to our our DNA of what we do. Again, we've got to keep it at the forefront of our, our mind and our design. Uh, we've had a process for a decade or so at the DFE, it's designed for the environment. So how do we develop our products that's already gonna start from the start of the design all the way through life cycle and usage of it? And how does that product you know fall into that recyclable piece? Um, again, recently we also released the EPD, one of the first to market pieces where we're looking at our overall products and how do they perform from start, again, to recycling at the end of the product system. but Again, not only is it, again, diesel of what we do, but HVO. So we've got other options out there to um, look at those carbon impacts of what we have out there. Um, hydrogen fuel cells that we have. Um, we've got a conscious care program that changes kind of how we operate our, our systems out there in the, in the generator world. Typically you run that generator every month. Now with the conscious care program and how we design and, and the, the influence of it is I can run less saving fuel, saving sound, saving different pieces for emissions for the environment. Yeah, and that adds up after, yeah, especially up over after the course of your runtime, right? You bet. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, data center growth, it's definitely happening and it's yeah. happening globally, not just in these traditional data hubs, you know. So, how are you working internationally to share knowledge, ensure quality, ensure resiliency everywhere, not just in, you know, specific spots of the world? Right, right. Absolutely. And I think another great piece, Keely, I mean, it, you really have to go back to our teams, right? I, I can't do anything or we can't as, as an organization without all of the functional groups from supply chain, sourcing, um, design, engineering, and marketing. Um, that really makes that difference. And again, that's the one that get us forward globally. And again, our structure at Relco affords that, right? How do we work with each other to drive that business? Certainly today, as we sit here at Yada, um, a global group of people come together, right? To share thought leadership and, and come together as working teammates, but then leaving as friends. Like how do we get together to, to share what we have knowledge wise and grow the industry together? So I think of that piece, I think of JSA of who we are and where we've been, you know, across the world, different continents together, driving relationships and, and sharing that and in our in means this way um, with the world. So I think that's the biggest piece that we've got out there from um, groups internally. Uh, last night, right, I Mason's just awarded a, a hundred unique individuals out there, one being Buffy, another one Steve Zilke within our organization for how are we impacting just small changes, right, incremental changes in the industry and making a difference. Be that, you know, the climate accord or the social accord, what, what, what are our 
community is seeing with data centers? How can we help share that knowledge and grow them as much as we grow our industry as well? Yeah, and, and that's one of the things that I love about Relco is you're, you're, you're friends with everybody to a point, you know, you're sharing that knowledge, you know, sometimes even if somebody's doing something similar across the street, if we work together, we're right. all going to advance right. the, the industry better together. Yeah, indeed. Again, it's whether it's my direct peers competition, we are all driving to grow the industry together. And it is truly a uh, mentality and a heart of sharing. And it's, it's not just Relco, it's everybody around us and we are absolutely yes. appreciative of it. Absolutely, yeah. it is. We all challenge each other and we all make right. each other better. Right. Absolutely. absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Ryan. It's always yeah. a pleasure talking with you. Appreciate you stopping by. Yeah, perfect. Thank you again. Appreciate it. Thank and you. Thank you to our viewers for tuning in. Don't go anywhere. More to come from the show floor of Yada. But in the meantime, stay curious and stay connected.